Hey guys, Directly Challenged here, bringing you today a game called Frogsmith. Evidently it's a game about blacksmithing as a frog who's really into some smooth jazz. Like real smooth jazz. Um, so yeah, it's just a blacksmithing game where you play as a frog. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's do this. Choose God's track, Dagger! Costs 100, a pike, 222, ooh, there's times, oh, if I do the pike, it's going to cost me all my money, but it has a high reward, but I got to get it done in 35 seconds, alright, let's do it, I have no idea what I'm doing, oh, this is easy, okay, I lied, um, about the easy thing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just hammering stuff. Am I- why am I hammering stuff? Uh, it's weird. Do, do I- why did I- what, what? What? Okay, let's try a dagger. How do I heat it up? Okay, how do I- okay. Okay, I need to use wasa. Okay. Well. Now I know how to play the game. Kinda. Not really, no. I cannot see the progress bar. Okay! Okay, I think I know how to do this now. I, I think I can do this. First you gotta do this. Get it to the ideal temperature. Alright, then you... Put it back in here. Get it back up to that ideal temperature. Bop! Bop. Cool it off. And you've made a dagger somehow. Okay. Let's do it. Another dagger. We're gonna keep doing this until I get back up to the... The spear that I screwed up. I like his, you know, I like the smooth jazz. Aw, oh, dude, I can make a long sword? Or an axe? I'm making a long sword. Hell yeah. I love long swords. They're not my favorite weapon. Scythes. Scythes are my favorite weapon. And if you disagree that scythes are the most badass weapon, then we can't be friends. I'm sorry. Uh, it's, it's just how it is. Scythes, scythes are purely the most badass weapon ever. And, um, yeah. Dude, you fight me on it. I don't care. I'll fight you. I'll definitely fight you. Oh, hell yeah. Let's make a forked pike. A trident. I'm not even looking at the rewards for this. It's just, I see, let's make a triton. And I'm like, yes, make a triton. See, okay. Now, I don't know a lot about smithing, uh, but I will be honest, I actually look up YouTube videos on smithing and forging and stuff a lot. And I will admit, um, accurate. This is a lot of what you do. You know, except for normally you're actually like making it into a shape. I love Forge videos on YouTube, too. Oh, there's- Oh, a great sword! I'll go build a- I'm gonna build Cloud Sword! And it's gonna be great! It's a great sword. But yeah, like, the, the thing about forging is you really do. You have to, like, you take it out, you, you, you beat the steel into shape, and every time that it's, like, it, it cools down. Like, every time you're hitting it, it is going to cool down because heat's going to transfer into the table or the anvil and the hammer. And so you've got to put your, like, you got to put your steel or your iron or whatever you're working with back into the fire. And it's really interesting watching videos on that. And we can make a mace! Oh, dude, how long does this game go for? That's my question now. Like, now I'm curious. Ah, oh, dude, I love, um, yeah, like, I don't know, I don't know. I would love to forge. Uh, there's so much stuff I would love to do. And forging is one thing I would love to do. Hammer! I would love to do some forging. I, I would love to try it. Um, I know I wouldn't be good at it, but I would really love to, like, try and make something in a forge. That'd be so cool. 
And I know it'd take a long time. I know it would take hours. Oop, I got that way too hot. And that means that the metal's gonna be brittle now. Yeah, I know. I know. There's an ideal temperature. You get it too far and the metal's gonna become brittle. You don't get it far enough and you're not gonna be able to work the metal. Oh man, it's so cool. Armor! Dude, does this game just keep going? Oh, it takes the armor a while to get up to temperature. Oh, dude, and forging armor? You have to, like... A, a lot of the times to get the bend you want, you have to forge it onto, like, the, the, oh, the tip of an anvil. Like, so you'll see them, like, pounding against the tip of this anvil to get the bend to make, like, plates and stuff like that. It's so cool. I don't... I just... Oh... Hammer, 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 and cool it off. I love the graphics. I don't know why, but the graphics feel like, it feels like N64, like this feels like it could be an N64 game, you know? Uh, just looking at it, I feel like, or a NES game, like, you know, th this feels like a retro game. The, the animation, the modeling, everything about it feels like a retro game and I kind of like it because it's like a retro game but it's smoother. I don't know how to describe it. This is actually a lot of fun. I'm actually really enjoying myself right now. Look at me little froggy. Ah, oh, I got so much money. Oh, got a forge Mjolnir. Oh hell yeah, Thor, I got you, buddy! I'm gonna rebuild it. I'm gonna rebuild Mjolnir for you, dude. Don't even worry. I know you went to that dwarf guy and you got that one axe, but nah, dude. Nah, this, this is, no, nah, you're gonna want this one. Cause it was made by me, a frog. And that's better? Cause I'm a frog. Yeah. Instead of a giant dwarf, because that makes sense. I don't feel like people know what dwarves are. Ah, oh, I've completed Mjolnir! Oh, I had to really cool that one off, didn't I? Reward, 1668. You are really cheap, Thor. You... You could have given me a little bit more cash for that one. Let's let's forge Mjolnir again. Well, you know what? We're, we're gonna sell this one to Loki. Yeah, Thor. How's that feel? Not even movie Thor. We're gonna sell it to Loki, Loki. Loki will come into my shop and be like, Do you have Mjolnir? I'll be like, Yeah, I do, Loki. You want Mjolnir? Two grand. It's really cheap for a god weapon. Should probably charge more for a god weapon. What would you charge for a god? Like, what would you charge for a god weapon? Let me know in the comments down below. What what would you charge for a weapon that is wielded by the gods? I would think a small fortune. I don't know, a million, two million dollars, three million dollars, a country, maybe. They got ooh, Excalibur. Oh, dude, yeah, screw, screw pulling Excalibur out of the stone. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna forge my own Excalibur. What? Am I gonna form the forge the Masamune and the Muramasa too? What am I gonna for? Are we going through all the legendary swords? Cause I don't know all of them. I'm bad at that. I guess well the Kusanagi. I guess the Masamune and the Muramasa aren't exactly legendary swords. So much as they're like legendary cursed swords that you don't necessarily want. You don't want to be. You don't want to be cursed. Whoops. Nobody wants cursed. Well, I mean, some people want a cursed sword. There's a. Um, there's a a manhwa. Is it a manhwa? A, a Korean manga that I'm reading where a dude actually is like looking to get these cursed weapons because together they give you like 
badass powers. Oh man, I'm not getting cool stuff anymore. I'm getting lame stuff, like armor. I love manga. I love anime. I don't love manhwa as much. I, I don't love the Korean version as much. I don't... Just, I don't get into it a lot. Oh, great helmet! Yeah! It's nothing against the Koreans. It's just... Um... I think Witch Hunter is one of the few that I'm reading that I really like. Um... A lot of the ones that end up like I can read are a lot of the like web comic ones which are good but not the best a lot of my favorite manga though uh, is uh, mostly shonen but I also really love um, I really love Akametsu and I, I can I can talk about it oh, good quality how do I make great quality all right, I'm gonna try and make the best quality meal near I can. I already screwed up. Never go above that temperature. We're making the best meal near possible. Odin would be proud. Chris Hemsworth will personally want this meal near in his home. As a reminder of his, I screwed that up. As a reminder of his time as Thor. And he'll contact me and he'll be like, directionally challenged. I hear you made Mjolnir. I don't know how to do a Chris Hemsworth impression. Quality good. Okay, whatever. But yes, Chris. My name is also Chris. Uh, also Chris Pratt and Chris Evans. I am also Chris. It, it's a nice to meet. It, it's nice to to meet you. Uh, we should hang out because we're all Chris's. Also, I should become. Uh, I should try out for a Marvel superhero. Because my name is Chris, I'm sure I would get hired as a superhero. Um, I don't know who I could play. Uh, I can play the Blob. Are there tryouts for the Blob? For the new X-Men? I think Disney bought Fox, didn't they? So they can have the rights to X-Men. I try out for Blob. I could play Blob. I could be Blob. Poor! I did a great job on that! What are you talking about, poor? I don't even tell me. I'm trying to see what what like the most I can make out of this is. Good quality, of course. That looks like a pizza cutter. I think I think I've maxed this out. I th I think I've gone as far as I can go here, because it's not going any further. So I guess that's where I'm gonna end this video. Uh, this is a fun game. A fun little game. Uh, it looks like it goes on infinitely. Like there's no real ending until you run out of money. So, if you guys want to check it out, um, link in the description. Go check it out for yourselves, and uh, I'll see you later, navigators. Bye! Hey, thank you for watching. If you liked this video, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, leave a thumbs down. Either way, tell me in a comment down below. If you have any ideas for games you'd like to see me play on the channel, go ahead and leave that in the comments down below. And subscribe to become a navigator so I can finally know where the hell I'm going.